Hi friends, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'll show you how to easily create letters using a mail merge in Microsoft Word, pulling data from Microsoft Excel. Let's go. Over here on the left, I have a standard form letter in Word. For this example, we're announcing a new doctor is joining the practice, but this body of the letter really doesn't matter. It can be whatever you need for your purposes. The important part is the name and address information we're gonna fill in up here. That information is going to come from our Excel spreadsheet over here on the right, where we have first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip for our patients in California. What we need to do is merge this information with the letter over on the left and then get these sent out. Okay, over here in Word, what you want to do is come up to Mailings and then Start Mail Merge. We're going to choose letters. You'll see there's also other options here that you can use mail merge with. I do have a video about doing labels if you're interested in that. Check out the video linked above. But we're going to go letters here. And the next thing you need to do is select recipients. So who's going to receive these letters? You could actually create a new list starting right here if you didn't already have the address information. But we have the existing list over in Excel. So I'll click on this option. I'll select the Excel spreadsheet right here. Mine's called Addresses and click open. Our Excel workbook only has the one tab down here called California Patients. If it had multiple tabs though, you'd need to select which one you're pulling the information from. But we just have the one, so we'll keep this selected. Importantly, for our example, make sure that you've got this checked here. First row of data contains column headers. Over in Excel, you'll see that's true. It's row one, where we have first name, last name, address, and so forth. If your spreadsheet doesn't have that, and it just starts with this, for example, and you don't have this top row, then you'd want to deselect this. But since ours does have that as the first row, we'll make sure that's selected and click OK. All right, it doesn't look like much happened, but behind the scenes, everything is hooked up just the way we need it. The next thing we need to do is fill out this information here. This is just a text placeholder that I put here, so I'll delete this. And here's where we want to insert the merge fields. Come up here to your ribbon, insert merge field, and here in the drop down, you'll see these fields match up to what we have over in Excel. So the hooking up that we did just a minute ago, that's how those are getting pulled over. So we want the first name, space, last name, and then a new line. I'll hit the enter key. Here we want the address. Hit the Enter key again. Then we need city, comma, state, space, space, and the zip code. If you want to see a preview of what that's going to look like after the merge, you can come up here to Preview Results and just click this button here to view the merge data. This doesn't actually do the merge, but it'll just give you a preview of what it's going to look like. And there you'll see that our first contact or our first patient, Kylie, is coming over. And that looks perfect as far as the formatting goes. So I'll deselect that. The next thing we need to do is fill in the name here. Now, depending on what you want to do, you could do first name, last name. If you have the salutation like Mr. or Miss or Mrs., for example, you could do dear, salutation, last name. I don't have that, though, in Excel, so I'm just going to do the first name. Once again, up to Insert Merge Field, First Name. And if we preview the results again, you'll see that's coming back correctly with Dear Kylie. All right. All we need to do now is actually do the merge. So to do that, I'll come up to Finish and Merge. We're going to go with this first option to edit individual documents. This is going to create a new document for us with all of the letters in it, multiple pages. You could also send this to the printer or to email. Those are options, but let's do Edit Individual Documents. And this is going to do the merge. We're going to choose All Records. If for some reason, though, you wanted to only do certain records or the current record, you could do that as well. But let's stick with All and click OK. And this will do the merge. You'll see here this is a brand new document called Letters 1. And if we scroll down, there's multiple letters here. So we actually have 71 pages. And each one is going to a new patient pulling from that Excel list. Now all you'd have to do is print out this document, get things in the mail, and you're good to go. It's just that easy. That's how you do a letter mail merge using Microsoft Word pulling from Excel. If you like this kind of content, check out the other videos on my channel. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching.